guys uh, I've been doing some fiberglass work in the boat sorry I haven't uploaded um, process videos uh, it's kind of a pain with the amount of work that I'm doing but uh, I'm trying to keep you updated well, I've been following other people's videos that guy with the Boston Whaler I've been trying to use some of his uh, tactics to to do this thing um, so I think I posted the video with me gluing two half inch plies together. Um, I had cut them out, I think, but I used uh, epoxy and uh, some uh, some thickener to glue the two half inch plies together. The transom on this thing was only an inch thick. Um, so what I did was, uh, yeah, I just glued two half inch plies together. And uh, now, today, I just uh, fiberglassed it in with 1708 uh, fiberglass. Uh, there is some bubbles, but I did the best that I could. It's really hot outside today. And uh, so, yeah, so this is what I've got done. Um, I think that kind of catches you up to date. Um, next will be the the stringers the supports that go from there to there there's just three of them and i think there's a couple horizontal um i think there's three horizontal uh boards that go on top of them to support the deck um but yeah it was kind of hectic i had to have a, a person uh helping me um to do this and I still didn't get it done as much as I, uh, the best job that I, I wanted to do. I think it's sufficient. Um, see there's a couple of bubbles there. It didn't get fully soaked in, but I'm gonna have to live with it. Um, whenever I glued this thing in, uh, I made a, a fillet. Uh, as you can see there, I kind of cut above the above the the drain hole here uh made this little outline uh because i would rather have just had all filled material there which i did uh than the wood down there so if there's any water sitting right around there it's just going into the filled material um and what i did was i actually stuck a pvc pipe through it uh, when making this fillet to kind of make a pathway to the outside and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I've got for y'all I'll show you the mounts that I made they kind of they were just some scrap board that I had and what I did was uh, screw in some square pieces to these scrap wood boards and how this worked was it kind of went one was here another one was here and another one was here and same thing on the inside and i so what i did was i uh, put where my fingers are i had screwed in boards to make it wider than the uh, gap so that whenever I I put my clamps down um, the inside of the board was not touching it was just this piece and uh, so yeah I'll update y'all my next video uh, try to get some process videos as well